My name is Linda Bowman. I am from Namibia. And our work as an organization is to work with lesbian, bisexual, women who have sex with women and trans diverse persons, uh, looking at issues of human rights. I have a lot of layers. I'm black first. I come from a very um, impoverished community. And then also uh, there's racial issues on top of my layer. And then I'm a woman. And then there's again the other layer of being a lesbian. And then another layer of being gender non-conforming. So it's a whole package of a person. And I think that was the initial um, stage of, of realizing that I need to defend myself first before I'm able to defend any person's rights because I would experience the level of, of oppression. I've been stopped more than so many times uh, where cars drive behind me. My phone gets tapped, which is directly state. There's no one that has access to, pho to tap your phone like that. I would hear sounds in the back. But the other levels of, 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 of threats it's directly within the communities that I live, and also just people who just hate homosexuals. The fact that you're able to have a dialogue without conflict, and those basic tools for me are the key ones that I'm taking home. Maybe the program must grow a little bit bigger for us to be able to train our own people at home, because now I'm, I'm, a, I'm a trainer. There are 13 other organizations in my country who are going to the issues. So how do we make sure that that level of support is there in order for us to, not just one person, but I can give 13 other people the skills on how we can collectively access these mechanisms and systems. I think my message first starts from my to my country. It is about, I am very grateful for the progress we've done in our country in terms of uh, ensuring that there's a policy that is inclusive, that is our national human rights action plan that is inclusive of the LGBT issue. However, I'm appealing to my government to ensure that this document becomes action. And at an international level, we carry a universal responsibility to ensure that all people are protected. And I, I also believe that the international community needs to be able to diversify the approaches and engagements on ensuring that all states are held accountable to those fundamental principles of human rights.